In this video, I'm going to show you the five steps to take in order to have a live automated trading system up and running. It's going to replicate the type of trading infrastructure that I've used since 2016. Once set up, as you will see, it doesn't take very long, you will have a hands-off approach to mechanical or rule-based trading. Before we go over to the computer and I show you the more technical side of it with the infrastructure, I want to go over those five steps, going through them on the whiteboard. The first step is strategy idea. Now, this is essentially a set of rules that make up your strategy. The rules are going to include your entry, your exit, your stop loss, and your position sizing, or how many contracts that you're going to trade. For this, you can use your own strategy, your own ideas, or perhaps somebody else's. I'm often doing videos demonstrating profitable strategies. And actually, later on in the video, when we go to programming, I'm actually going to program a strategy that I've done a video about previously. Step number two is your software. You need software or a trading platform that allows automated trading. Now, I'm going to use multi-charts, but you might like to use another one, TradeStation, MetaTrader 4, and there are plenty of others too. With multi-charts or TradeStation, I'm not actually sure about MetaTrader, but with multi-charts, which I'm going to demonstrate, to allow trade automation, you have to have the program open and running on your computer. And your computer needs to be on and connected to the internet. I trade 24 hour markets, Forex, so my computer needs to be on for 24 hours a day, five days a week. So I'm going to demonstrate running your trading software on a VPS or a virtual private server, which is basically a cloud based computer. And step number three, is program. You have to be able to tell your trading software what the rules for your strategy are, so it has to know when to trade, when to execute the orders. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to program a particular strategy. And then once we have it programmed, we can move on to step number four, which is test or back test. Once the trading software knows what the rules for the strategy is, then you can load up some past data. You might want to look at couple of years, 10 years, 15 years of past data and run your strategy to see how it would have performed in the past. Now, obviously, past doesn't guarantee in the future, but if we've got a decent strategy or if we've developed one and done our job properly, then if it works well in the past, then it's more likely to work well in the future. And that brings us to the final stage, number five, switch on. If we're happy with our test or our back test report, and we're happy with the code, then we can just flick a switch. Well, certainly with multi charts or trade station, it's just a case of clicking a button and that turns on trade automation. So the software then scans for the trades in real time as they come along. And if they do, then it will automatically send orders to your broker for you. So there are the five basic steps. Now let's go over to the computer and have a look at coding this strategy. The strategy that I'm about to program is fairly simple, but a good one with a very high win rate. It takes trades off of the daily chart off of Euro dollar, and it's a long only strategy. And I've kept it simple just for the demonstration of this video, because I don't want this video to be all about programming. This video is all about the whole automated trading setup. If you are interested in more in this specific strategy, I'll leave the link to a video that I've done previously all about the strategy. And in that video, you can actually access a free PDF report that I created and get all the rules. And that also includes a short sell version of the same strategy. So the rules are pretty simple. Like I said, look at a daily chart. Now, the first thing we want to see is an outside bar on the daily chart. An outside bar means that the high is higher than the previous high and the low is lower than the previous low. And we also need to see that the close on this outside bar is lower than the low of the previous bar. Then we'll set a fixed 200 pip stop loss from our entry point and the minute we see that setup bar we go long or we buy immediately at market on the open of the next bar. We exit the trade on the first profitable close. Now, what that means is once we're in the trade, at the end of each daily bar, so the first day we're in the trade, at the end of the day, we look to see if we're in profit or not. If we're in profit, then we exit the trade and we take our profit. 
if the trade is showing a loss, then we stay in the trade and then look 24 hours later and see again, if we're in profit, we exit, if we're not, we stay in the trade. And that means that eventually we'll either find ourselves in profit and take it or we will get hit by the stop loss. Now we're going to look at the trading software. I mentioned I'm going to use multi-charts and we're going to look at it on a VPS that I'm using. Now it's a free VPS or virtual private server I'm using from Amazon. Currently for my own trading I'm actually using a, a local computer. I'm using a spare computer that I have at home which like I mentioned stays connected 24 hours a day to the internet. I'm really lucky because where I live I don't get many power outages or the internet connection doesn't go down, it's very stable so I can get away with that. But in the past I have used VPSs and I always recommend that you use a VPS. To access that Amazon VPS I'm using a program called Microsoft Remote Desktop and you can see here these are all the remote desktops I have and you can see that I only have one at the moment. So let's access that. Now we've accessed that remote desktop, you can see that it's a Windows Server 2012 R2. And I try and get the oldest server I can, just because on Amazon's free tier, which it has limited memory, actually I find that multi-charts runs better than on the, the later servers. So this is a bare server at the moment, and I've just installed multi-charts, my trading software. So let's go and open that. Now, I've already set up a connection to Oanda, my broker, so it's actually prompted me to connect. So I'm just going to type in the username and the password. I might add that I've connected to just a demo account of Oanda because all my live accounts are connected on my, my own machine for my own trading. This is a fresh install of multicharts for this video demonstration. And for those of you who are interested, I do mainly use LMAX and you can see I've actually set up an LMAX connection on up here as well. So with multicharts, you have to set up two sides of the platform. Uh, you have to set up the data side and the broker side. So first of all you have to load a symbol and we're going to use Euro Dollar. I have actually already loaded it but the way you do that is you open the quote manager and you would add the symbol from a data source and we're using Oanda data and we can see all the symbols that Oh, and it offers us and then we just we add them okay I've already added euro dollar so we don't need to do that once we have that added we can then open a chart window and we were looking at euro dollar we go from the 1st of January 2010 to the current day so this is going to connect to Oanda for the data and it's going to load the chart and so we've connected the data side, uh, so we've got the, the data on the chart, but we also have to connect the broker side. The broker side has already connected because we can see this green light on Oanda here, but if we want to, we just right click and we can disconnect and reconnect the broker there. So now the next thing we need to do is put that strategy into what's called the power language editor within multicharts. That's where we write our code, so let's open that. and we want to create a new signal. Let's name it outside bar demo. And now we have a window where we can write in our code. Within the program editor, we can put in comments. So if we do a double forward slash, and then we can write a comment, and that just visually gives us something to look at. Multicharts doesn't take any notice of the comments when it's actually doing any sort of computing. Or well, the first condition we need to look for is that outside bar. So I'm just going to write a note here, and outside bar. So this next line is going to determine 
what an outside bar is. And to make it quite straightforward, I'm going to call it a condition. So I'm going to call it condition one. So condition one equals, and now this is the outside bar. So we want the high of the session, zero, that gives us the current bar, has to be higher than the high of the session one bar back. So the high of this current bar we're looking at has to be higher than the high one bar back. And the low of zero, which is this current session, has to be lower than the low of the low one bar back. And that's it, that's given us our outside bar. So if condition one is true, then it means that we've got an outside bar. But we also need the close of this bar to be lower than the low of the previous bar. So close lower than yesterday low. Again, the green is just a comment and you can write whatever you like there. So let's call this condition two equals the close of the session, of, of this session has to be lower than the low of the previous session. And that's our setup for our trade. Now the minute we see these, we can actually go long or buy. So let's put in another comment for our entry. And if condition one and condition two are both true, then we want to buy the next bar at market. Now that's got us our conditions, that's got us our outside bar, our close is lower than the low of yesterday, and we're saying if condition one and two are true, then we buy. It's that, that easy, that simple. But we need an exit now. Exit on the first profitable close. Now, the way we do that is if the open position profit, now open position profit is a multi-charts function, it can monitor the, the open profit at the time. So if the profit is greater than zero, that means if we're in profit, then sell next bar at market. Then, So if we're in profit, then get us out of the trade. Otherwise, it's just going to keep us in the trade. And lastly, we need a stop loss. So I write set stop contract, set stop loss, and these are multi-charts built in functions if you want to call them. And now we just put our amount, and I mentioned it was going to be 200 pips, and 200 pips with 4x is expressed as 0.02. And that's it. We've got our condition one for outside bar, close lower than yesterday low. The entry, if both of those are true, then buy. If we're in profit, then sell. Otherwise, stay open and we've got our stop loss. Now we just need to compile this strategy to make sure that there's no errors and it looks like it's going to compile successfully. We can see down here, so it has. So now that's compiled and saved, we can actually close the Power Language Editor, and now we can apply that strategy that we've just created, or that signal as they call it. So we right click the chart, insert the study, we're looking for a signal, and we can find our signal, which is this one. I'm going to use change the position, I want to use 100,000 units because that's one full lot, that's what I always test with, with Forex, USD and the currency, that's good. So let's apply that and we can see we've got some signals on the chart here. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. So this first signal that we see, or it's actually the last one on the chart, we can see here that we've got our outside bar. The high is higher than yesterday, and the low is lower than yesterday. 
and the close is also lower than yesterday's low. The minute we see that, we've got a blue arrow here, we've bought on the open of this bar. We had a close where we were not in profit. The next bar, we had a close where we weren't in profit. Now we've finally got a close where we're in profit and we exit on the next bar. So we can see now we've got all the trades on the chart. Going back to 1st of January 2010. So let's have a look at the back test report now that the trades are on the chart. And this is our back test report. You can see we've got a total of 95 trades. Percentage profitable, it's 89% profitable. That's, that's really quite good. Uh, we've got the largest losing trade of just over $2,000, which is just over 200 pips. Let's have a quick look at the equity curve while we're here. And you can see it's quite a nice equity curve. Let's have a look at the annual period analysis to see how it's done over those years. And you can see we've only had one losing year since 2010. And you can see how quickly Multicharts gets all this information. And there really is lots that we can look at uh, through the performance report. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to switch this strategy on so that then Multicharts can scan or check the market in when the live data is coming in and if a strategy comes along, if the, the market meets the conditions with the outside bar and the down close, then it'll then send the order automatically to your broker. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button now so we can close this performance report. And if we want to turn this strategy on, we would have possibly set up a few bits within the broker profile and just show you and within the, the auto trading, we just make sure this is set up correctly with our broker plugin, which it is. It's defaulted at the moment to the OANDA. And once we're ready, we can just turn on the strategy live by clicking this button here. And it gives us a warning to say that it's going to turn on the auto trading. We're not gonna do that because I don't want to turn it on with this demo account anyway. And that's about all there is to this step-by-step -step process of creating yourself an automated trading system. But that was just one strategy that I've showed you. Multicharts is capable of running multiple strategies on multiple markets on multiple timeframes. I actually think it's a very simple process and it gives you many trading opportunities. Having rule-based trading strategies, which the computer then trades for you, removes any time you might spend at the screen trading live. If you have any questions about this setup, then leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I know this setup pretty much inside out because I've been using it for so many years now. But until the next one, this is Jared Goodwin and thank you.